I'm investing today in Germany in the top 10 combined strategy of the MDAX. What I see here are two media companies, RTL, RTL and Axel Springer. And that's also the reason why I'm standing here in front of the house of Salomon Gessner, who founded the NZZ Group, the, the famous Swiss media company. I look at Axel Springer in more detail. I realize the ranks have actually decreased uh, recently. I should have bought it last year. But, you know, they're still above 50 in the value area, which co convinces me. Also, the combined rank of 68 is quite a good rank. So I'm going to go and look further into Axel Springer. I googled it and I found that actually a few research outfits recommend to buy Axel Springer. So that speaks for it. I go to the website and know what I see there is something that makes me quite happy. They honor Timothy Berners-Lee, you know, the founder of the internet. And you can imagine that I like Tim Berners-Lee a lot. I look at the annual report, which is also here on the homepage, and I can see that they are strongly focused on paid models, which means you pay for your news and for classified. Um, that's something that convinces me, but as you remember from the top 10 list, also RTL was an interesting company. So I go to that page as well, and I see that the RTL group hasn't increased in value dramatically recently. It's still about at the same level, so maybe I have not missed the opportunity there. I go to the website and what I see is a company a lot more focused on video and also more focused on Asia. So it's a different media story than Axel Springer, but just as interesting. As a matter of fact, if you look at their mix, they make most money from advertising. And I find that interesting too. So I can't really decide, you know, should I buy Axel Springer? Should I buy RTL? It's really tough to decide. So what I do now is I buy both companies and I'll wait then another week to buy the next company. So today I buy RTL and Axel Springer and I wish you good luck with your own investing.